welcome you all to principles of organic synthesis so far we had two lectures in the first nine lectures we studied about the carbon carbon bond formation lecture 10 to 12 we have studied the carbon hydrogen bond formation today we will start the electrophilic aromatic substitution in this topic also we will have three lectures in this lecture we will study the principles of the electrophilic aromatic substitution then friedel crafts reactions as you can see here the electrophile should be electron deficient usually they are represented as e plus as you can see here a mole that can be ion or a molecule as you can see here as you can see here, a molecule or ion that accepts a pair of electrons to make a new covalent bond is known as an electrophile it can be as you can see here these are the some of the examples a nitronium ion this carbocation sulfonium ion they can act as a electrophile the electron deficient here an example shown common representation for the aromatic electrophilic substitution we look at here you have benzene ring and the ch bond is converted into a new covalent bond with the e and this e represents the electrophile and basically it uh, first the benzene ring undergoes addition with the electrophile and followed by elimination of uh, proton so it involves addition elimination reaction at the end you can see in overall you substitute the electrophile in the place of hydrogen it's a substitution reaction aromatic electrophilic substitution reaction this reaction usually performed in the presence of acid as catalyst for example we use lewis acid often to speed up the reaction because uh, it is a poor nucleophile aromatic benzene is a poor nucleophile to speed up the reaction we use acid as catalyst now let us look at here the main classes of electrophilic aromatic substitution here an example shown for the halogenation reaction this is the electrophile for example chlorination cl plus is in as access a electrophile and this reaction is usually carried out in the presence of lewis acid like aluminum chloride the fecl3 for example when you have the so it has a lone pair you have the lewis acid aluminum chloride so lewis acid it can now you will be able to form so activated electrophile now this one once you form this one now the benzene ring can undergo reaction when you have uh, this is uh, benzene ring it can now react with this activated electrophile and the substitution reaction can take place similarly in the case of uh, bromine also if you have for example aluminum bromide and uh, if you have br you will be able to form you can write like this so this is uh, activated electrophile now the benzene ring easily can uh, undergo reaction with this uh, bromine and similarly sulfonation and this uh, can be uh, formed if you have the sulfuric acid we use uh, usually sulfuric acid as catalyst in this reaction so when you you know very well when you have the sulfuric acid and you'll be able to form o minus plus this can lose water molecule and you'll be able to form so 
So this, when you react with uh, So this can remove this proton, then you will be able to form this sulfonium ion, which act as a electrophile, then you regenerate your sulfuric acid. So this acts as a electrophile in this reaction. So if you have uh, sulfuric acid, one of the sulfuric molecule acts as a base, another one acts as an acid, then you will be able to form SO3, and which act as a electrophile, the sulfonation reaction, in this way you can form the carbon sulfur bond. When you use chlorine or bromine with the presence of Lewis acid, you will be able to form the activated electrophile. In this way, you can make a carbon halogen bond. And this here, the next example, a nitration. This reaction is usually carried out again with uh, sulfuric acid. If you have the nitric acid, nitric acid and sulfuric acid so this can now act as a base can deprotonate you'll be able to form plus This one, this can lose uh, water molecule, and you will be able to form NO2 plus and uh, water molecule. So, therefore, when you take uh, nitric acid and uh, in the presence of sulfuric acid, it can generate uh, nitronium ion. So, in this way, you can make the carbon nitrogen bond formation, uh, nitration you can uh, do in the aromatic system. The next example involves Friedel Crafts reaction. So, you can generate if you have alkyl halide. So, these reactions are usually carried out in the presence of Lewis acid as we have seen the case of halogenation. Uh, in the presence of aluminum chloride or FeCl3, you can carry out the reaction, you can make a carbon carbon bond, you can do alkylation acylation. For example, if you have alkyl halide. And when you react with aluminum chloride, as we have seen, now you can form and plus minus. So, this can act as a electrophile. Similarly, in the case of acid chloride, we have for example, acid chloride and if we have aluminum chloride. So, as uh, you have the lone pair, this can, so you can push it and then you will be able to form acylium ion, which acts as a electrophile plus uh, this acts as an electrophile in this. Therefore, if you look at these are the some of the main classes of electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions, we will study them in detail later. Here the general mechanism for the aromatic electrophilic substitution shown. First, as you can see here, the first step, this acts as a nucleophile, this is a weak nucleophile. It undergoes addition reaction. This is a addition, then you get this carbocation intermediate. Once you form this one, then the deprotonation takes place. Uh, the base uh, removes this proton, then this is uh, fast, this is elimination reaction, this uh, elimination reaction and you what you do here you introduce the electrophile. In the place of this uh, hydrogen you have introduced the e electrophile, you, it first step involves addition reaction, second step involves elimination by cleavage of the carbon hydrogen bond. Um, so, overall if you look at here is a substitution reaction. Now, let us uh, compare uh, the aromatic electrophilic substitution uh, with the addition reaction of alkene. Uh, let us uh, compare with the cyclohexene. 
of cyclohexane with uh, bromine It acts as a nucleophile, it's a strong nucleophile comparing to uh, benzene ring because because of the aromaticity this benzene ring is more stabilized. So, uh, it acts as a nucleophile, this acts as an electrophile, they will be able to form the bromine ion intermediate Br minus. The Br minus can react via SN2 pathway, whether this carbon or that carbon you will be able to form addition product. So in this reaction, this double bond undergoes addition with this bromine and first one this acts as a electrophile, this acts as a nucleophile, then addition reaction takes place. When you react benzene with bromine, no reaction or very slow. So, this is because it is a poor nucleophile. On the other hand, as soon as you add Lewis acid, we have benzene and if you add Lewis acid for example, FeBr3, the reaction readily takes place, you get the substitution product. There is no addition product observed. This is because if you look at the energy level of uh, these reactions, If you see the energy level of uh, this uh, transient state, if you look at here, this is higher energy comparing to that. Therefore, the addition reaction is not favored in the case of aromatic system due to loss of aromaticity. But when you carry out the reaction by substitution, you recover the aromaticity. For you look at here, this is more stable benzene ring, this is a less stable the carbocation. When you make the substitution reaction, you will be able to recover the aromaticity, you generate a more stable substituted benzene. On the other hand, if you carry out the addition reaction, so less you lose the aromaticity, you produce the less stable cyclohexadiene intermediate. This if you look at this one, compared to the uh, benzene ring, this less stable. Therefore, uh, when you have the aromatic system, 
they are prone to undergo substitution reaction compared to the addition reaction. And also just I mentioned if you compare the alkene and the benzene ring, this is good nucleophile, it can readily undergo addition reaction with the electrophile. On the other hand, this is a poor nucleophile because of aromaticity and then you have to use acid as catalyst to activate the electrophile, then this can undergo addition reaction followed by a cleavage of CH bond and overall you end up with a, a substituted a compound. So, the substitution if uh, simple benzene and you will be able to introduce the electrophile. On the other hand, if benzene has already substituent, it can affect uh, the position of the uh, substitution. The rate of the reaction is strongly dependent upon the nature of the substituent present in the aromatic ring. Suppose, if the benzene, this simple benzene ring and uh, so, you will be able to form uh, the substitution product. On the other hand, if already has a substituent, then it can direct the substitution uh, at different positions. The relative ease of substitution at different positions in the aromatic compound is also determined by the nature of the substituent. Basically, the nature of the substituent uh, plays crucial role in the electrophilic substitution. Now, let us look at, for example, you have substitution here and the, once we have already substitution the aromatic ring, the incoming electrophile can undergo reaction this carbon ortho position, then you get this 1, 2 product. It can also undergo reaction uh, this uh, carbon meta position. So, you'll, in this way you will be able to form 1, 3 product. It can also undergo reaction the para position you will be able to form 1, 4 product. There are 3 possibilities. You can form 1, 2 product or 1, 3 product or 1, 4 product that depends upon the x. The electronic nature of x plays crucial role to undergo the electrophilic aromatic electrolytic substitution to give the product. For example, let us look at toluene. When you have the toluene, when you do the nitration, if you can look at here, we end up with a mixture of compounds. If you look at the ratio of this compound, the ortho nitration is the major product, then you get the para comparing to meta, these two are major compound. So, this can be easily understood if you write uh, uh, the resonance structures. So, as we have seen earlier, When you mix uh, nitric acid with sulfuric acid, you will be able to form the nitronium ion. And now, this can undergo addition reaction. For example, if it undergoes addition reaction, this position, ortho position, then you will be able to form these three resonance structures. If the ortho position undergoes substitution reaction with this NO2 plus and you will be able to form these three resonance structure. On the other hand, if undergoes reaction with the meta carbon, then you will be able to form
these three resonance structure, the carbohydrate ion can be stabilized by these uh, three resonance structure. If you look at here, this is most stable. This, this carbohydrate ion can be stabilized by the methyl group. And when you can write similarly to the nitration to para position, if you do nitration here, So, if you look at here, this also so there are three possibilities you can see here if the substitution takes place uh, the ortho position and the para position you can see here this resonance structure when you write these two are this carbocation can be stabilized by methyl group therefore, Comparing to if on the other hand the reaction takes place at the meta position, you can see you do not have that kind of stabilization. Therefore, when you have the electron donating group, this for example, like methyl group, the nitration selectively takes place uh, at ortho and para position comparing to the uh, meta position. This can be easily understood when you write the possible resonance structure and these are the responsible for the stabilization of the carbocation intermediate. When you write, then you will be able to predict why when you do the nitration with the electron donating group, uh, always uh, the ortho and para positions are favored comparing to meta position. This is a, a reason and you can see here when you write uh, the possible resonance structure for the ortho substitution and para substitution, you can see there is a resonance structure which can be stabilized by the electron donating group. So, methyl group tends to direct the electrophiles into ortho and para position. This is the reason for that selectivity. Now, let us go for the uh, nitration uh, with the nitrobenzene. Uh, just we have seen the nitration with the uh, toluene. In this case, if you look at here, the ratio of the dinitro compounds, you see the compound that you form. Uh, from meta position is uh, major compound comparing to that uh, para and ortho positions. Uh, so, this also can be easily understood if you start drawing the uh, resonance structures. When you when you react with uh, nitronium ion at the ortho position, and you will be able to form this uh, intermediate. So, if you try to draw the resonance structure. So, if the nitration takes place at the position and you will be able to form this uh, carbocation which if you try to draw the resonance structure there are uh, three possible resonance structure. If you look at uh, this the least stable among this because you have already electron withdrawing group 
we have the carbocate ion next uh, this carbon and the same carbon has electron with the drawing group therefore uh, this resonance is a very uh, less stable when you draw the resonance structure now let us go for the reaction with the meta position if the nitration takes place at the meta position So, you will be able to form uh, this uh, carbocation which if you try to draw the resonance structure or stabilization of the carbocation, these are the possible resonance structure if the nitration takes place in the meta position. Uh, on the other hand, if a uh, reaction occurs at uh, para position, so you will be able to have the following. So, these three are resonance structure. If you look at here, this is least stable comparing to these two structures and here uh, similarly, this is least stable comparing to these structures and you do not have this problem. If the reaction takes place at the meta position, you do not have this kind of least stable intermediates. So, therefore, when you have the electron withdrawing group the aromatic ring always the electrophilic substitution is favored at the meta position comparing to the ortho and para positions on the other hand if you have the electron donating group the reaction is facilitated at ortho and para position comparing to meta positions this can be easily understood by drawing the possible resonance structures and you can see here when you have the uh, nitration uh, the, when the substrate for example, the nitrobenzene and you can see here and if the nitration takes place meta position much favored comparing to ortho and para position because and you can see here you have the least stable intermediates when you draw resonance structures and you can see the this kind of least stable intermediate therefore, uh, when the reaction selectively takes place at the meta position comparing to ortho and para positions. This table uh, gives the summary of uh, various uh, substituents. For example, if we have the O minus and it has uh, plus I and plus M effect, this uh, usually the electrophilic substitution takes place ortho and para position is very powerfully activating group. This means uh, this is uh, inductive effect, this mesomeric effect. And if it has a lone pair, it can uh, write, you can uh, try to stabilize through resonance structure, mesomeric effect you know very well. And this also you can through inductive effect you can facilitate the uh, substitution reaction. So, these are the sum of the examples you can see here and already you know very well and we will be see many examples you can try to understand. And these are the electron withdrawing group. For example, when you have this uh, just we have seen the if you have the nitro group uh, the reactions facilitated meta position you can see here. When you have the electron withdrawing group like ester, carboxylic acid, aldehyde and ketone or cyano group, nitro, sulfonic acid, usually the reaction is uh, favored at the meta position 
and similar same uh, thing if you have the NH3 plus or NR3 plus and always the reaction takes place meta position. On the other hand, if you have the electron donating group like methyl, amide, and you can see here and amino group, methoxy group or alkoxy group or halogen and usually the reaction is favored uh, predominantly ortho and para positions. Now, let us look at just we had uh, some idea basic information about the aromatic electrophilic substitution. Now, let us see some example for the carbon carbon bond formation. So, all of you know very well about the friedel crafts reaction. Uh, here an example shown for the alkylation if you have the tertiary butyl chloride you can try to uh, react with benzene the presence of Lewis acid aluminum chloride then you will be able to form a carbon carbon bond. Uh, the mechanism of this reaction shown here as we have seen when you have the Lewis acid it can form a activated so, intermediate once you form this one then you will be able to form this carbocation. So, this carbocation now can act as electrophile now the benzene can undergo reaction as you can see here then you will be able to form uh, this carbocation intermediate. Once you form this one now this can deprotonate and you will be able to form the tertiary butyl benzene and HCl you generate as a byproduct you regenerate with the catalyst. Though you need a catalytic amount of aluminum chloride to carry out the reaction therefore, if you have the alkyl halide and you can try to react with the Lewis acid and you will be able to form a carbocation which acts as an electrophile. Now, the benzene can act as a nucleophile it can undergo uh, first addition reaction as you can see then elimination cleavage of this carbon hydrogen bond then you will be able to form tertiary butyl benzene via carbon carbon bond formation. Here are some examples shown for the Prell graph reaction as you can see here the first example involves the reaction of benzene with adamantyl chloride in the presence of aluminum chloride uh, as we have seen uh, this can undergo reaction you will be able to form the corresponding tertiary carbocation which can undergo substitution reaction with the benzene ring and you will be able to make the alkylation as you can see. And similarly here on another example shown the reaction of chloroethane uh, with the benzene as we have seen this also can undergo uh, reaction. Uh, when you react with aluminum chloride you will form this uh, carbocation. Now, this can undergo reaction as we have seen uh, and you will be able to form ethyl benzene as the product. Now, let us look at this one uh, 1 to dichloroethane this also as you can see here now the aluminum chloride can readily react with this one and uh, so you have to use 2 equivalent of uh, benzene then you can make this uh, 1 to diphenyl ethane as the product as you can see here. And this if you look at this examples uh, usually they uh, utilize aluminum chloride as the Lewis acid catalyst for the alkylation reactions. You can also carry out the reaction for example, if you have the alkene and the presence of acid as we have seen. Uh, so, it can act as a electrophile, it can as a nucleophile, then you will be able to form a carbocation. So, once you form the carbocation, now this can uh, readily undergo reaction with the benzene. So, first addition reaction takes place. First, what you do here, you form the carbocation, 
the alkene undergoes the cyclohexene undergoes addition reaction with the proton then you form the carbocation which acts as electrophile which can now react with benzene you form this uh, carbocation intermediate now this can react this base it can uh, deprotonation takes place so once you form this one now this can act as a base removal of this proton and then you will be able to form the cyclohexyl benzene as a uh, product similarly in this case also in the presence of uh, acid you can form the carbocation which can undergo cyclization will be able to form the tricyclic system as the product so these reactions these are example for the alkylation reactions if you have alkene then also in the presence of acid you can make a carbocation which can act as a uh electrophile that can readily undergo reaction with aromatic systems you will be able to form uh the alkylated compound here an example shown these all are very straightforward uh, reactions uh if you look at uh, this reactions it involves a rearrangement in the presence of lewis acid what happens and uh, for example when you react uh, benzene with this alkyl uh, chloride in the presence of uh, lewis acid and we will be able to form uh, this as the product uh, in this case and this alkyl halide first uh, reacts with aluminum chloride and we form the carbocation as just we have seen once you form the carbocation there is a one to methyl shift uh, involves then you form the this if look at here the primary carbocation is it converted into tertiary carbocation which is more stable once you form this carbocation now this undergoes reaction with your benzene ring so then the addition followed by elimination takes place to give this as a, a product so in this case and you form the primary carbocation which undergoes uh, rearrangement to form a more stable tertiary carbocation which acts as electrophile therefore in the case of aromatic electrophilic substitution when you carry out the reaction with alkyl chloride or alkyl halides and in the presence of lewis acid they can readily undergo uh, rearrangement uh, depends upon the nature of the substrates you will be able to form a more stable carbocation intermediate that can act as a electrophile to give substitution product now let us take uh, this an example benzene with this alkene so in the presence of acid there is a two possibilities there when you take this alkene then you will be able to form on the other hand so in this way you form the secondary carbocation as the intermediate on the other hand if the uh, alkene uh, reacts the other way you will be able to form there are two possibilities there and if you look at if you do the reaction with the benzene ring and since this is a primary carbocation less stable comparing to the secondary carbocation therefore whenever you do the reaction and you will end up with uh, this as the major compound and similarly here this uh, when you form the uh, primary carbocation in this case and it undergoes rearrangement to form the more stable carbocation which undergoes reaction with this aromatic ring to give this substitution product now let us look at an example for the acylation reaction as you can see here uh, here the reaction of acetyl chloride with the benzene the presence of aluminum chloride is shown and you can make the acetyl benzene as shown here this very common method we use for the acylation of aromatic systems as we have seen just now this can make chelation as we have seen uh, earlier and you will form the activated electrophile then you push it here 
and then you'll be able to form the acetylene ion. Once you form this uh, electrophile in this reaction, now it can undergo addition reaction, then you'll be able to form this intermediate. Once you form this intermediate and this can uh, deprotonate uh, this proton, then you'll be able to form the acylation product. And as you can see here, here also uh, first involves addition reaction and then elimination, cleavage of this uh, carbon hydrogen bond gives this substituted compound as the product. And some examples are shown as you can see. So, similar way just here uh, we have seen the reaction of acetyl chloride with benzene, the presence of aluminum chloride, you can get the acetyl benzene as the product. And here the reaction of uh, this acid chloride, the presence of aluminum chloride shown here as we have seen there, it can form the corresponding So, acetylene ion intermediate, once you form this one, which can readily undergo reaction with uh, your aromatic ring, then you will be able to form this uh, ketone as the product. And similarly, you can also carry out acylation uh, in this substrate and the presence of aluminum chloride, you can make this uh, uh, ketone. You can see here, these all are intermolecular reactions. The reaction of acetyl chloride with benzene gives the uh, astrophenone as the product. You can see here the reaction of benzene with uh, propanoyl chloride shown, you give the corresponding uh, ketone as the product. Here again the reaction of acetyl chloride with this uh, system is shown, you can make this ketone as a product. All are uh, intermolecular reactions. This is an example for intramolecular reaction. If you have the acid chloride, you can also react with uh, Lewis acid. Uh, it can undergo intramolecular cyclization as you can see here, you will be able to form this bicyclic ketone. And this another example, this is uh, also for intermolecular reaction. If you look at all this example involves acid chloride as acylating agent. Usually we use acid chloride as acylating agent. In addition to that, you can also use acid unhydrated as acylating agent. This is an example. If you have this uh, Unhydride, you can try to readily react with the aromatic system in the presence of Lewis acid, you will be able to form the keto compound. And this also can be further, you can convert into the presence of uh, phosphoric acid like this. You use phosphoric acid, then you will be able to convert into further. Ketone as a product. Now, let us look at in summary. Today, in the first part we have seen the uh, principles of aromatic electrophilic substitution reactions and we have seen the reaction involves addition followed by elimination. You get the substituted compound and if you compare, then we also have seen the uh, reason for the aromatic compound to undergo substitution reaction comparing to the alkenes. If you look at the alkene which undergoes addition reaction, on the other hand, if you have the aromatic system which leads to substitution reaction, this is because to recover the aromaticity. Then we have seen uh, the effect of a substituent, the aromatic electrophilic substitution reaction. For example, if your aromatic system already has a substituent, it can direct the electrophilic substitution reaction at ortho or meta or para position. This can be easily understood by drawing the resonance structures of the carbocation intermediate. If you have the electron donating group, usually the reaction electrophilic substitution takes place at ortho and para positions. The reaction is facilitated. The rate of the reaction is enhanced because of the electron donating effect of the substituent. On the other hand, we have the electron withdrawing group like nitro group. The reaction electrophilic substitution is facilitated at the meta position. The reaction is very slow because benzene is a poor nucleophile. If we have the electron withdrawing group, the nucleophilicity of the benzene ring is further 
decreased therefore the reaction is less favored and the reaction usually takes place at the meta position then we have seen Friedel Crafts reaction for the carbon carbon bond formation we have seen the alkylation reaction with some examples similarly we also have seen some example for acylation reactions with this we conclude this lecture thank you very much